Bison Patriot League Coach of the Year, Dave Paulson of Bucknell. The Bison will begin their Patriot League tournament on Wednesday against Navy after going 22-8 and overall and 12-2 and in the Patriot League. Uh, Coach Paulson, an opening statement, please. <clears throat> uh, yes, first of all, I'd like to echo the comments uh, from the other coaches, just uh, congratulating the other major, the major award winners and the uh, all-league players and all-rookie, and, and uh, certainly not to underestimate the Academic Ball Patriot League, which is really at the founding of, of what this league is all about. Um, we're excited, as everyone else has said, we're excited about getting into the postseason. Uh, I, I am very proud of our team, you know, to, to uh, kind of have a bullseye on your back for the entire season and uh, take a lot of good shots from a lot of really, really good teams. And I, and I do believe that... Um, this year's Patriot League is more balanced uh, than, than I've seen. You know, there, there's really no easy nights in this league, and there's some really terrific teams. So, you know, I'm proud of our guys that really buckled down and defended. Uh, it's a great honor for Brian Cohen uh, to be the only three-time Defensive Player of the Year uh, recipient. In uh, it's my 18th year as a head coach, and I have never been around a guy who attacked playing defense like, like Brian has. Um, and that just is, you know, is, is terrific, inspires his teammates, and is very unselfish because it, it requires a lot of energy. Um, you know, we know we're going to have to play at our very, very best uh, going into the postseason. Uh, Navy team uh, really uh, put a scare into us on Saturday night, uh, really defended hard, screened exceptionally well, um, were very deliberate in their half-court attack and, and really made us work every single second. So we're going to have to play uh, better than we did on Saturday night um, uh, here on Wednesday night, but we're looking forward to the opportunity. Okay, questions for Dave Paulson? <clears throat> Dave, Ken McMillan with the time trial record. Hi, Ken. Hey, uh, just talk a bit more about uh, Mike Mascala and what he's meant to the program. Well, I think the, the biggest thing about Mike is he just attacks every single practice, let alone every game, with a tremendous amount of passion. And when your best player is your hardest worker and your most passionate player, that's a pretty good ingredient um, to inspire his teammates. And, and so one of the, the best things about this group is they attack practice every day, and, they, and they're really – uh, passionate about getting better individually and as a team. So I think that's the biggest thing is that his leadership by example, um, and he's becoming more vocal leader, but, but more than anything, his leadership by example um, in terms of work ethic and competitive spirit has been phenomenal. Uh, I, th I think the other thing is, you know, obviously Mike has uh, stepped up his scoring every year, um, but he's incredibly unselfish, you know, and he's very, very efficient. He, he, he doesn't take a lot of shots. And he's is excited about you know kicking the ball out um, if teams sag or double team or anything like that. So you know he's helped generate a spirit of unselfishness. And then I think the third thing is we really challenged Mike to become a better rebounder. I, I felt like um, he needed to be a better rebounder than what he was last year. And the thing about him, you, you give him a challenge, uh, you know he he kind of takes that on, and and so he's really become I think a dominant rebounder. Uh, as well as a you know a terrific low post score. Uh, would, uh, would you say that this was a a good year for the Patriot League? Uh, is the league top heavy, or is this the deepest count you've seen? Is it, uh, the last I but is this the what? Is the deepest? It the deepest count you've seen in the league? Uh, is or is the league rather more top heavy? <sighs> Boy, I, you know what? I, I don't I don't think it's. I mean I I do think um, I think it's the best since I've been here. That's my opinion. But, it, you know, again, when you're coaching against the other team, you always see all the other team's good points, and you don't necessarily see their flaws. You see your own team's flaws. But I, but I do think um, uh, it's a lot of parity. There's really terrific coaching in the league. And, um, and there's a lot of different styles in the league, too. And, and so there's a real challenge of, to get your team ready for – very contrasting styles, uh, defensive-oriented, half-court-oriented, uh, up-tempo, uh, fast-break-oriented, um, inside-oriented, perimeter-oriented, um, and, and it really poses a lot of challenges for you defensively. So I think, yeah, I mean, I think that it, the league is deep, um, 
but I also think that um, there's a number of teams that are, are very, very good. You know, all the teams can win on any given night. We know that. But, um, you know, uh, I feel like it's more competitive every single night than what I've seen since I've been here. Coach Chris Brady with the Standard Journal. How are you? Doing great, Chris. How are you? Good. Talk a little bit about Joe's recognition. He's a player that uh, if you watch him every night, he, he gives everything and he does all the little things that you ask of him for him to get league recognition. Talk a little bit about that. And, and I, think it's, I, think it's, I think it's I think it's great. Um, you know, we really debated because uh, one of the things that's neat about our team is the unselfishness. And so, you know, beyond Mike, nobody's racked up any kind of gaudy numbers, but we have a number of guys that, that uh, you know, just kind of fill their role. And, and uh, but the thing about Joe is he's as smart a player as I've ever coached. And um, so much of our offensive execution goes through Joe. Um, but he stepped up his game every year, um, you know, scoring. He's become better in the low post. His rebounding numbers are up. And the other thing is he's the guy who has to, uh, we talk about the versatility of this league, uh, guard if a team plays with a conventional you know, big physical four-man. Uh, he's got to guard that guy, and the next night he might be guarding a guard um, and chasing around and doing things like that. His ability to be versatile defensively uh, has really been um, huge for our team. Any other questions for Dave Paulson? Uh, Coach, real quick, it's Bill Wagner. I'm jumping back on the teleconference here, so I apologize if it was asked earlier, but how do you convince your, your team that Navy is a threat to beat you, that you played them twice and handled them pretty good both home and away, and uh, obviously we know they're on this monumental losing streak. How do you convince your team that they're a threat and that they can beat you? I think all we got to do is watch a film of Saturday Night's game. And, uh, you know, at, at many junctures in the game, uh, it was a one or two possession game. And, um, you know, the other thing is that um, you know, our guys last year, uh, you know that you can lose to anyone. And, and I think that our guys, and, and you got to give a lot of credit to Navy, I, I thought they really played well Saturday night, um, really defended hard and really were physical with their screening and uh, execution of their offense and you know, really put our defense in, in, in tough spots for 40 minutes. Um, you know, so I think our guys, I hope, will feel hungry that, uh, that we need to perform better on both ends of the court. Uh, and, uh, and if not, you know, then, then that's, that's not a good recipe for success for sure. So I, this group has been pretty focused and, and attacked every practice and every game. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm confident in the leadership of our guys that they'll be ready to, to really compete.